Welcome to the finale of Pikmin 2. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully. This is the finale. This may take a couple tries. Uh, but if all goes well, this is the finale for good. But it could take a couple of resets. We found Louie, as we said in the last episode. Is that Louie? Mr. President, I have located Louie West on a vast mound of treasure. For him to venture to these depths alone, Zyro Man is the thing. We, what? <laughs> But Louis is not moving. Could he have exhausted his strength in reaching these depths? There may yet be time. Quickly, to Louis' aid. Eh, he's not alone. He's got a friend with him. Yeah, final boss. Of course, he'd be friends with the final boss. Dang. Time to leave Uh, this is why you need Yellow Pikmin. Because it's super high up, and it's a good dude attack. Oh, it's gonna start off with the sucky attack. That's good and bad at the same time. This attack can hit all Pikmin at once with water damage. So you have to be like switching back and forth, whistling your Pikmin like that. And, uh, the, the water attack is what you want. It has five attacks for each element. You want to attack the water first. You really do. Poison, you can dodge it pretty easily. I'll show how. Like, see, it's this kind of green thing. So you just get an opportunity to just come up here. That's easy. Um, but the water hits all areas of the game, so you want to take that out ASAP. And the electric attack, well, you're using electric Pikmin, the yellow Pikmin, so, well, nothing to worry about there. <laughs> Fire Pikmin immune anyway, so no problem. And it's luckily doing the electric attack a lot, which is good. The little sound cues, like little crackling sounds to like indicate that you're getting close. Fire attack is just a little squeaking radius thing, it's super easy to dodge like that. No problem. I just, I like to check on Pikmin periodically, just to make sure. So yeah, the only thing you really need to worry about a lot is, well, not letting the guard down, sorry. But just the water, that's the worst. And just doing it just like that is the worst. Maybe it hurt me. Yeah, it, yeah, it can hit all the way over here, so you have to be super careful. Uh, and you have to monitor two squads of Pikmin too, so that's really frustrating. It'd be really nice if you could do the electric attack, I like that one. Oh yeah, and the part starts smoking as we're about to fall off. Uh, just going after them. But for some reason, it's not really hitting them very much. I don't know, maybe I have a system now that's just crowding them in the corner. Okay, so we've been tossed to pick me up here, and... Uh... Poison. Get out of there. That's super slow though. We can just kind of move in a ring like this and be fine. Uh, water again. It's being aggressive with that. It's the first one you want to take out by far. It kind of shoots randomly, it gets more random as the battle goes on because the parts are sort of malfunctioning is the idea. Um, so all five attacks have actually been shown. Fire. Not good, but easy to dodge nonetheless. Jeez, it's, it's, I think it has a set pattern of how much it sweeps it. But I don't remember. <laughs> it might be random. I really don't know. Water again. So just kind of camp out underneath it. But, oh, it's actually hitting us now. Because it's getting a little harder. Oh, shoot. Uh, I think everyone's safe. Or not. Now everyone's safe, I think. Yeah, I had to take so much time to just check on all the time. Oh yeah, and the sprays don't really help that much. This is just a long fight, it just is. Um, yeah, you're more likely to get hit here than in the actual arena, oddly enough. Like there, <laughs> no damage. This is good, the picnic count is just gonna drop on these times. Yeah, popular strategy is to actually go in with only yellow Pikmin. Just, you only have to worry about one group picking at a time. Got the part off it though, so we literally have nothing to worry about. The rest of the boss is super easy. Just attack it. 
pretty lucklessly, and it should go down eventually. Apple. This is a trial and error thing. Harvey wants to skip ahead because of how long this fight is, to be honest. And it's good. it'll probably get boring. Because once you take up the like the pump, it's super fast. Uh, actually, no, it goes really slowly all the time, but it's just you don't it gets super boring is what I mean. Because you don't have to actually dodge anything. So I'm going after that first because he seems to be kind of trigger happy with it. <laughs> oh wow, it looks like one quick one. Oh, I can actually see. Uh, looks like everyone is fine. Yeah, everyone's fine. Yeah, I have the audio turned off, so I have no clue if, uh, about the uh, sound cues. If they're actually if getting close or not. I can't hear them. And this is good, because you get an opening. It's also super easy to dodge. Well, that, that's bad. Uh, uh, okay, that was... I have a good save. But basically, at this point, you can take them out in any order. I, I always save electricity for last, just because while well, you're using electric equipment, it makes sense. To save the thing that they're invulnerable to you for last. Captains will get stunned, but they can't actually get hurt by them. And that's two down. So I'm not gonna cut at this point, it's not worth it. If we didn't have the sprays, it would take forever though. I also have the two, it's gonna be really hard because it's gonna I'll probably use the flare cannon a lot more. I just totally made up the name. It might be called the flare cannon, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm just using this completely liberally because, well, this is the final boss, there's nothing more after this. So you don't need to hold back and conserve resources. And this is electricity, lucky. Uh, okay. Once this is off, this boss is a joke. Because we can just pound it. Yeah, it swings a, a lot faster as it's lower on health. Yeah, so each part has like a different gimmick as it gets weaker. I don't remember. Like, the, I think the wire cannon thing fires a lot more uh, randomly. Oh, that red. Oh, that's <laughs> what is going in that arc. That was lucky. That guy would have been toast otherwise. Just to pick one. Yeah, but really nice flying effects for me, to be honest. Really nice looking game, period. How old it is. It's like 2004. I saw something about being like anniversary of Paper Mario or something, but I remember playing it for the first time, it was really good, but uh, I actually do want to play Paper Mario, but uh, I hear it's a little harder for uh, copyright reasons. Oh, bad. That, oh, that was bad. That's really bad. Uh, can I save this? No, this is bad. They're, they're gone, I guess. But yeah, this is how fast the battle can turn around. Like, if you just get one wrong move, this is what happens. But I'm just gonna cut ahead, you know how to do it at this point. So I'm just gonna cut ahead to when you actually get the title thing up. So, be right back. So after you manage to actually take out all the weapons, actually there are four, I said five by mistake, it's completely vulnerable. Uh, so what you wanna do is just attack as fast as you can. You can't hurt Pikmin at this point. Um, just don't even worry at this point about like falling back to me because it's literally impossible to lose here. Um, what you want to actually do is get to pick, get it to low health like that, and then freeze it because you actually get something super special if you do it this way. And you get way more sprays than you could ever possibly use. So we found Louie. That's the big reveal, I guess. Um, I uh, only fainted. There's no room in the cockpit, so we're gonna have to keep them in the cargo hold. So... These are completely useless now because, well, frankly, we have no need for, uh... Uh... We have nothing left to fight, but hey, it's good to just have backups anyway. 
Uh, we have many now, actually. I think I started with three and four. So, so, wow, that's like four of each is what it looks like. That was pretty good. Um, again, you just have to be really careful. I'm, apparently, I was not being really careful. Um, because if you get hit and get like stun locked and like you can't move and call your Pikmin, then your Pikmin will probably die. So the important thing is if your Pikmin do get hit, don't freak out and run into an attack because you can't move if you get hit. You will get stunned, you can't actually get damaged, but you will be stunned. Yep, the order I went in this time was the uh, Wire Pump first, uh, then the, the Flare Cannon, that's actually what it's called. <laughs> I got the name right by accident. Uh, then the Comedy Bomb, and then the, the uh, Electric Thing, which I don't know the name of because uh, I have collected it yet. Yeah, I looked it up and it was actually the Flare Cannon, so I actually got the name right. It sounds like a Pokemon move. Um, yep, so Louis can have to be stashed in the ship now. Takes four, five Pikmin, which is actually more than you can actually get a Pikmin using the best ability. Just to demonstrate. Yeah. <laughs> actually, this is kind of funny. <laughs> Carrying back both captains. That's all the more is worthless, though, alas. And Louis even gets his own name. King of Bugs, which actually feeds into some interesting Pikmin conspiracies. And Louis might have not been, you know, kidnapped by that thing. Maybe he was actually controlling it. But it's all just a theory. Even Olmar actually mentions that, you know, it seems suspicious because Louis always is. Actually, it is spoilery, kind of, but actually, I won't mention it. Once you beat the game, you actually have like in the uh, Piclopedia where, where Olma has all of his journal entries, even Nui has journal entries about how to actually cook all the enemies. But that is literally it. That is all the Pikmin 2. Nothing more that can be done. No deaths, perfect run with resetting of course. Um, that's why no one does a single segment Pikmin 2 because there's so much randomness. Why right, they're, they're only segmented runs. The final total is skewed slightly because of uh, enemies, but uh, it's generally around 26,000. And that is literally all we can do in the game. There's actually more to like hidden enemies and stuff, but in terms of treasures, that is the last of it. So for the final time... You've collected every treasure. There are 201 treasures in the game. Just for frame of reference. And here's the ending.
And that's that. Um, final scores. Ah, oh, this is boring because they're all zero. I almost never have deaths. I just, for OCD reasons, I almost never do deathless runs. One thing I don't like in this game, unlike Pikmin 1, is for the Pikmin Born count, they count the lowest scores higher. So it's like they're encouraging you to have fewer Pikmin for some reason. Ah, didn't beat my best time. Too bad. I actually had a really good run, to be honest. Uh, 14, again, this is right in the ballpark of how many Pikmin days it usually takes me, so I'm, I'm happy with that outcome. This was really fun to play through Pikmin 2 again, because I always do it. But it's always a blast, so I hope you enjoyed watching this. So, I don't know what game I'm going to play next. If It might be a while, but uh, see you then.